Hey, we're here with Billy Bug and his model rocket collection. Now you might have remembered the previous video where we went over all of his different artifacts that he has from the different space programs and some other things from the Air Force, the Navy. We got all kinds of stuff here. But what we want to do this time is do a little update on the new stuff that he's added to his collection. Now, since you were here last time, I've scratch built a Mercury Atlas over here. I used a funnel, a puzzle tube, and a burial vase that held flowers to make the cuff around the rocket engines. Uh, since I was here, or you were here last, I built the. Oh, I gotta get back a little bit. It's too close. The two Delta II rockets. Mm -hmm. Those were what took the rovers to Mars. Uh, Dragon Models came out with a very accurate uh, one six scale of uh, the Apollo astronauts. This is Buzz Aldrin. Dragon Models made this. That is really cool. Since you were here last, I've done a little more work to the Skylab space station, made it look a little better. Uh, I've got the F4 Phantom on display where you can see it. This is a 132 scale made by Tamaya. It's a very, very nicely scaled model. Uh, I bought me two new cases, put more Apollo and Space Shuttle and Gemini and Mercury models in it. From the 1950s, in the old books that you read, see, Warner Von Braun and the other rocket scientists, this was what their theory of a space station might look like back then. I scratch built this out of PVC pipe and a piece of an old meter box. Also, since you were here last, I had the Apollo moon boots and the gloves, but I finally looked up and I found me a replica of the Apollo space suit. These are some of the helicopters that uh, are involved in various maneuvers with the with the Air Force and the Navy, but interesting is that some of these were used to pick up the, NAS the uh, NASA astronauts after they splashed down, like this one here and, and this one. So a nice little collection of helicopters. Also have various models of the Blue Angels. This is the U.S. Capitol building. It's a giant puzzle, but that's where Congress decides where all our money is being spent whether it goes to the space program or else. Yeah, here we have the Soviet uh, space station. There it is. My cousin Jonathan gave me that. I built it. I enjoyed building it. Uh, this is my table of their Soviet models and their Soviet space stations. Also got my hands on two of the China's rockets that they launch into space now. As you can see their manned rocket looks a whole lot like the Soviet Soyuz rocket that launches their cosmonauts into space. There's the Metal Earth kit that John gave Billy. And what plane is that? The uh, Raptor ain't it Jonathan? You got the uh, SR-71 Blackbird. Blackbird right here. And that one is what? X-15. X-15. And I reckon. They call that the F-117 Nighthawk. Mm-hmm. And then and we... The other is the U-2 spy plane. U-2 spy plane. And then we got a space shuttle uh, here. This one was new since you've seen it. That's the okay. another version of the uh, Blackbird. So here's a couple of Blackbird photos Billy just got from the flea market. So that was a good overview of your new items, Billy, and we appreciate you showing us that. What are your plans for the future? What do you have uh, that you might want to add to your collection? Well, I'd like to find a nice model of the Soviet M1 rocket. That was their version of the moon rocket. Well, that's pretty good. So if uh, 
anyone knows anything about where he can get one of those or if they have one for sale just let him know and uh, I'll go ahead and post a link for Billy's Facebook page under this video and we appreciate you watching and we'll see you later Here, like.